guys, it's Salas, and welcome back to the pit. Today we're going to be looking at David Cage. More specifically, his game Beyond Two Souls, or to pronounce it correctly, Beyond Two Souls. Yes, David Cage is one of those weird auteurs who doesn't like making video games. Allow me to show you why. We start with a very, very scary close-up of Ellen Page's face, and when you press New Game, Yes, I don't care. I was born with a strange gift. Yes, you're living in a time vortex. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. Oh, so you're the soul of the TARDIS. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. The mustache. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember That's not gonna happen. This is a David Cage game. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. <laughs> might as well just start anywhere. I love this story makes no sense to start with. I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? I am an accident. Did, did someone try to hurt you? Yes, me. Leave me alone. How about a name? Someone I could contact? You My agent. Family? Friends? Someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. Hello, guy with hat. You don't talk much, do you? I have the right to remain silent, and I'm exercising that right. Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. <sighs> oh, I get nowhere. No, because you suck. Is that a scar? Is that a reason? To Leave it alone. <laughs> stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to the media, you hear me? You've got to stop them. Try putting on the mask if I help. Send in the SWAT team for a little girl. Because one cop is so incompetent, he has to call in fucking SWAT. Well, well, yes, special on? weapons and tactics. They're here to yeah. kick ass and shoot bubble gum. They're not happy fun police. Breach. No, we're gonna let the local sheriff do the breaching, because if someone killed him, no one cares. <laughs> oh, is Mr. Police Officer afraid of the dark? <laughs> With the lights on. Oh, they're not getting their Christmas bonus. Okay, all the SWAT officers died, and I'm guessing you you quite a coward in the cabinet. What have you done? Don't 
Don't ask me, I was hiding in a cupboard. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was an entire chapter of the game. An entire chapter is cutscene. David Cage does not want to make games, he wants to make movies. And this next section will prove it to you. In fact, before we do that, let's watch this first. Oh, Big Brother is watching. And now suddenly I'm a small child. Ah, there you are. How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. Right, now before we continue, Allow me to prove to you that David Cage wants to make movies by showing you this clip from another David Cage project, Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit, depending on where you are. Hi, my name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fahrenheit. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. Now if that doesn't prove it, this will. Right, the only control here is you have to move the right stick roughly in the direction of where you want her to go. Kind of similar to Fahrenheit, Indigo Prophecy, whatever you want to call it. In that you have contextual movements like this. Now, I want to point out here, these black bars you're seeing at the top and bottom of the screen, these aren't put in by me on post. These are David Cage's design. And why? Because he wants to make the game more like a movie. And why? Because it's not a game, it's an interactive storytelling experience. Sorry, I can't pronounce that phrase in any other way than doing a stupid voice with my tongue bitten between my teeth. So yes, this is the basic the start of what I can quote unquote call gameplay. You can move about bloody time and you can piss off <laughs> because you don't want to follow the black guy who seemed friendly but given the fact that I'm being watched by security cameras I can't help but be creeped out by. This is funny, I've got to show you this. Look. This is as close to the table as they're letting me get. Hurry, when people Jody. describe a game as linear and corridory, nothing is more the case than this. There is actually a physical corridor put up which you must follow to do anything. And it happens with all of the furniture. This is as close as I can get. And yes, there are these little interactive quote-unquote bits that, oh my god, we didn't think anyone would come here, so we didn't bother. There's a lot about it, really. But you'll get to see my main gripe with this game in a minute, once I can navigate through this corridor maze. Right, Nathan's waiting for us. Who is? Some guy. Mm -hmm. Can I escape? Can I, can I just escape? No, that's actually the door I was supposed to go through. Damn. I call. I'm gonna freeze on this frame. Anyone who gets this reference, this solidifies my arguments. All I'm saying on the subject. I said it's nearly ready. Now, let's continue down this corridor. Oh look, I can't even get close to the people! I'm waiting for you, honey. Are you really? Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? Shut up. It's gonna rain this Here we year. are. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. Okay, you want me to go down there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Come on, Jody. Can I go through these doors? No, of course not, because that's not following the interactive storytelling experience. Hurry, Jody. Oh, damn it, I was hoping to escape. But no, no. I can't go and see the janitor. I have to go this way, for tis the law. Babysitting detail, huh, Cole? I'm waiting for you, honey. Yeah. The top. And it literally marches me back until I obey I'm them. For you, honey. Watch. I'm waiting for you, honey, and then it marches you back. There is literally no game so far. It is a walking around simulator. Hey, Jody. How's your day been oh, so far? Hello. Pretty good. Hello, Green Goblin. I can call him that now because he's in a massive science research thing. Oh, God. It wants me to do something. Oh, it wants me to sit in the chair. Okay. We're going to put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Of course it is. A crown of fucking thorns. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm right next to her. Even she looks okay. bored. Even she looks faintly bored. Now, the evil man who's clearly evil because he's evil has left the room. Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Right, I'm going to put the controller down for this. You hear that? Down. Wait for it. And the option disappeared. This game plays itself. Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're going to get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Again? I still haven't picked the control up. There it goes. The game is actually playing itself Good. for me. All right, let's go for it. First card. Oh, now it wants me to do something. Okay, I'll pick the control up again. Oh, look. Weird psychic ghost vision. Ooh. Oh my god, the camera's a lot freer in ghost mode. Doesn't make it any better. Ooh, hello. What card have you got? Oh, you've got that one. What do I do now? Do I go back and... Oh, 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 look. It's a one-button game. Next card. Okay. Do I have to go back into ghost mode myself? Yes, I do. Here we go. Cards, cards, cards. What card has she got? Yes, we have to go all the way back through the wall and do the turn again. Oh, look, I can possess her. <laughs> I see through your eyes now. Yeah, we know what that is. Next card. This is literally the game at the moment. This is all you do. Back through the same wall to possess the same woman and look through the same eyes. I appear to not be flying right at the moment. Thank you. Oh, it's that one. Okay. It's the Wavy Lions game. Are we done now? Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's okay. Some blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Well, let's give that a go, shall we? Back through the same wall to the same room, and you do that and this. And then you knock him over. Brilliant. Good, Jody. Anything else? 
anything else in the room you can move? No, I don't want it. I really don't want it. Oh. Let's do this wall. Subject's heartbeat slows to 45 beats per minute. Oh, it's you. <sighs> well, glad I know where I'm going. Back to me. Okay, let's just do what it wants us to do. Move the papers. And she laughs. And what else? Ah, the water. There we go. That's three things done. And now she's freaking out. Let's go follow her on a, on a psychoactive journey. Back into a corner. Look, now it's giving me all these options of things to destroy. Oh look, a camera I can destroy. Oh, lighting. That's Let's it. do I'm sorry, nothing, I'm shall done. we? Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment. Control is down. Locked. The door's locked. I'm no, telling Kathleen you, it's not locked. locked. It's Get me out of here. here. Moment. Get me out of here now. Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the and door. And she's freaking out as if I'm destroying the room. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. <laughs> I have stopped! Jody. It's over, Jody. It's over. Right, take the controller again. It will never be over. Cliche number one! <laughs> See, they're all reacting as if I did what they, what, what they expected me to do, even though I didn't. There is no choice in this game. I actually make zero impact on this, and that was an entire chapter. And I can safely say, the rest of the game is very much the same. You don't make any decisions. Nothing happens. So let's, let's just saw up here. All the proof that David Cage doesn't want to make games, he wants to make movies. First of all, that bit from Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit. Second, he's hiring big name actors like Willem Dafoe and Ellen Page to be in his interactive storytelling experience. Third of all, he puts it in his ridiculous like letterbox it. mode. That's not and fourth, he does that shit. Us. He takes away all choice from the player. He wants it to play out the way he wants it to play out. And that is all. See, doing it again is playing itself. I don't take Stress pleasure sucks. in a game that I can play while I'm and asleep. I something else. Dress it's perfect. ridiculous. Hey, look, I mean, this has got to be the most David Cage David Cage has ever been. I know it's Quantic thing? Dream, but that's just another word for Natural. David Cage's ego. His whole life is a Quantic you Dream. Smile. So do you want me to echo I like, I like David Cage, though. I like the fact that there's a guy out there who I wants to do something different, an auteur who has opinions. But this is Ryan, ridiculous. I'm this delighted is you could absolute attend. Always a Box. pleasure she's come in. Bollocks of the I, uh, highest like you order. My assistant, Elizabeth. I was in unaware fact, that American diplomacy was When this game was being hyped, David Cage job. went out of his way to say, we, we want to add more polygons it. to the models, because more polygons me. means more emotion. Give you back your host. Funny that, David Talk Cage, because Mike Bittle then, right? released Thomas Was Alone, and that was an amazingly atmospheric and emotional story. And do you know how many polygons me. are in each model? One! My head on a stick. Found you charming. If David Cage fine. wants to make movies, fine. Let him make I'm movies. Shake some hands. Just don't let him sell them for 60 quiet. bucks and expect no, us to sit to here and press one button if and when he allows us to. You're a sight for sore eyes. In fact, I've got an idea. Does anyone remember that episode of Futurama where please. they go to the movies and Fry learns that all movies in the future are interactive? Maybe David Cage could do something like that. Press one to do this option. Press two to do that option. You would make the world's first ever choose your own adventure movie. What's that sorry tale tale? I didn't see you come in. Anyway, apparently I've got guests now, so on this wonderful shot of Ellen Page, I think we're going to leave it there. So, until I see you again, I've been Salus. 
She's been Ellen Page, and I will see you next time.